Secrets of the Forbidden Episode 2. Eh, it's fine. Whatever. Ran out of time and ideas, so you know. Yeah. So here's what happened after Sean won the duel against Bones. You're gonna regret not giving me that card, boy. Then Bones goes away. End of episode. <laughs> Who was that guy? And why did he want this card so badly? Whatever the reason may be, I don't think he wanted to use it for good. Well, anyway, I need to get back home so that my mom doesn't worry about me. So Sean goes back to his home with the groceries. Mom, I'm home again. Welcome back. Did you get all the groceries I asked for? Yes, I did, Mom. Wonderful. Just put them on the table. So John puts the groceries on the table. <laughs> I'll be going to my room now. He then spends the entire day playing Nintendo Switch. Then Sean goes to his room. This card must have some value seeing that guy really wanted to have it. Almost as if he was ordered to get it. I'll think about it again tomorrow. Now I just want to sleep. I'm with you, pal. Meanwhile, with Bones... Sir, I have returned with bad news. What is the bad news? I found the Forbidden Seal card, but a kid got to it before I could have it. And I dueled for it. And did you win the duel and secure the Forbidden Seal card? Yeah, you see, I kind of lost that duel, and I don't know where the kid's at at the moment. You what? You lost to a random kid? And you even lost where the Forbidden, card, forbidden Seal card is? How incompetent are you, Bones? Would you like an actual answer or a sarcastic one? I'm sorry, boss. Ugh, I know you are sorry because you are a sorry excuse for a steel hunter. Just get out of my office for now. Office? <laughs> yes, sir. Boss leaves. The boss is really mad at you, isn't he, Bones? Yeah. You see, this is why you're just a grunt, Rank. Oh, just shut up, Alpha. 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 So, Bone storms off. <laughs> this is so fun. Bone's losing to a random kid. It's sort of so funny. The next day... Sean is at school. Sean's school. That's the name of the school, by the way. Just Sean's school. Okay. Psst, John. Oh, hey, Jax. What's up? I saw your duel with that guy with the skull mask. What was that all about? Tell you about it after school. I'm going to the board shit. Okay. After school. Sean explains everything about what happened yesterday. And that's how it happened. Or rather, and that's what happened. Wow. You <laughs> man, that's crazy. Say, Jax, I have a question. How'd you know about that duel I had yesterday? And how didn't I see you at all? 
Well, you see, I was walking out of the store after getting some cards and saw you dueling in that guy with the skull mask. Yeah, that makes sense. So you saw us in action, alright. Anyway, want to test that new Kai of yours against me? I'm going with Brooklyn, why not? Sure! Johnny Jack's Dual Dome Activate. Okay. Let's duel! I will begin. I set one monster face down. And then I'll set two cards face down. And then my turn. Ah, yeah, it's my turn. Draw. I know I'm a summon Ritual Master or you. Rituals, oh boy. The Ori's effect, once per turn I can add one spell card from my deck to my hand. And I add the continuous spell card to prepare the ritual. Now I activate the continuous spell card, prepare the ritual. Now I activate one of the effects to prepare the ritual. Once per turn, I can add one ritual monster from my deck to my hand. And I add Ritual Master Hound. Yay. Now I activate the ritual spell card, Blue Student Ritual. Interesting name for a card. Or whatever. I can use it to ritual summon a ritual monster from my hand. And I use my Uryu and Kaiyu. Ritual Summon, Ritual Master's Hound. When Kaya is used as Ritual Summon, I gain 1,000 life points. When Oryu is used as Ritual Summon, you take 600 points of damage. Now I have to prepare Ritual once more. If I Ritual Summon, I can create a token with all the stats, attributes, type, and effect, but it's destroyed to end the battle to end of the turn. Just imagine this is a token. So it's a hound token that has all the effects for the same. Okay. It's two hounds basically. Now hounds attacks a space down monster. Activate trap. Mirror force. <sighs> Both hounds went down to the hound. I set one card face down. And in my turn. My turn, I draw. I flip my face down, monster face up. Give me accident by accident, sorry. Small and dark. Winged ball. Now I activate my continuous trap card, ball hive. Every time a ball card leaves the field, this card gets a ball counter. If it has four or more ball counters, all my monsters can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. If it has six or more counters, my ball is gained 500 attack points. And I can remove one counter to create the zero attack mo this person on a level four monster with zero attack points. So I normally summon Searcher Ball. And when I normally summon, I can special summon Air Ball from my hand, from my deck or head. Deck, jeez. Now I Synchro Summon. Come out. Giant Ball Smasher. Giant Smasher Ball. Three kinds of ball hives already each. Now Giant Smasher Ball. Attack Jax directly. I have to get the face down card. Launch the Ritual. I can banish one ritual monster from my graveyard and special summon the ritual monster equal to its level. 
So I special summon two ritual monster te ritual master teachers in defense position. Okay, well, the moon's the weight, so just half and half makes sense. And ritual master teachers based on the field, you can't activate any more any other monster effects except him. But since you have two, it's something that happens. Main phase two, I return air ball and searcher ball to my deck to destroy both your teachers. There'll be no learning in this academy. Now I activate ball fixing. Okay. I can send one ball monster from my deck to the grave and add one monster from my graveyard to my hand. So I send Big Eyed Ball to my graveyard to add to my hand to add it to my hand. Okay, interesting strategy going around it. Now ball hive can go off. Now I end my turn. What? Okay. It's my turn. I draw. Activate the spell card. Soul hand crusher. Jeez. I can destroy one spell or trap you control, then send the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. Now back in the day, that'd be considered a broken card, but now he's like, thanks for the free real estate. So I destroy Ball Hive. Smart pick. Now activate the ritual spell card, Red Priest Re Ceremony. So many ritual spells. With it, I can ritual summon a ritual monster from my hand or graveyard using monsters from my deck. So I use Ritual Master Fiend and Kyo to ritual summon from my graveyard, Ritual Master Hound. Then, with the then I'll prepare the ritual, I create a token out of it. Imagine this is over, no problem. Now because of Koyo, I gain a thousand life points. Because of Fiend, I can destroy one card on the field. And I choose Giant Ball Smasher. Giant Smasher Ball. 10,000 life points. Jeez. <sighs> now Hound, direct attack. Sorry for the yawn. I activate my hand lightning absorption machine. What? Well, from your hand here, do the lightning mister. Machine. I can activate this card from my hand if I control no monsters. And with when a monster you control attacks, I can destroy that monster. Okay, I'm reinforcing another sense. It's neat, I guess. Then the token will attack. And since the token has the effect of the real card, its effect activates. When this card deals dip battle damage, you take double the damage. Damage. Okay, I end my turn. I draw. Hey, I got the new card now. I can finally see what it can do. Oh boy. I get the field spell card. Seal of the Forbidden. Dual Dome deactivated. What? Ah, nuts. Hey, what's going on? Did I see the secret word of the day? Then a SWAT truck parks near Sean and Jack's. Ah, oh, crap, baskets. Really went from zero to 100 immediately. Shouldn't have activated that card. The two are coming with us. Then the unknown guy takes Sean and Jack into the SWAT truck and they drive off. After the series ends here. And that'll be all for today. If you want to find out what happened, for them, wait for episode 3. Imagine, I was doing 7, just like Oval, you can ask questions and characters. Okay, yeah, thanks. Well, at least he answered the question. It'd be funny to think that there is no episode 3, since series just like they get arrested. The end. What? What kind of ending is that? Well, it's not the ending that's happening, but you know, it'd be funny. Don't do that, though. It's only it would be funny in hindsight. Uh, but yeah. Saw episode, we got to see uh, more of the uh, guy's friends, which is good, of course. He's got a friend named Jax, that's cool. And uh, yeah, they duel each other and go to school together. What are they at? <laughs> the evil mastermind seems to have something to need for the card, which is apparently very important if it summons a SWAT team upon activation. Then again, if they have, then again, it's not that big of a leak because if you think about it, it's like this is a stretch, but. 
if someone knew about the nuclear codes and then just like casually activated it some regard or something, you bet your, your bottom dollar that every police officer in the local area is coming to wherever the frig you live. You know? They don't need that getting out. Not at all. Oh my goodness. So maybe this, given how powerful this secret thing could be, that could be an issue. Hmm. The Mexico doesn't do anything. Like, I don't even remember what the effect does, but it was a lot of text. But imagine if it's just... Uh, block attack or stop defense, or it's both in one, and that's why it's so busted. <laughs> but yeah, interesting to see where this stuff goes. We got Swide, and now they're going to find out more about him. And the evil mastermind continues to be evil, the evil mastermind. Hmm. She's got more henchmen than just Bones, though, so it ain't going to be the Bone Show, at least. So yeah. See probably more of those henchmen as time goes on, maybe as villains to our protagonists. Time will tell. And uh yeah. She and the video didn't come to an end because it seemed like we were about to make a comeback, but you know, the plot interrupts. I, I was kinda like, okay, it's a minute left, so either he's gonna pass this turn or he's gonna somehow OTK. And the answer was neither. Frickin' SWAT team comes in. That's certainly one way to do it. You gotta write yourself at this corner. And then the police showed up. <laughs> I mean it works. Most of the time. So yeah. Solid stuff with interesting perspectives and knowledge as. And uh, yeah. Good episode to watch. And I'm glad I checked it out. So yeah. Alright. That's enough of this. I'm rambling. So see you all in the next one. Goodbye.